Hello guys, Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. We are here in Southwaite Services. We've just stopped for a wee 45. Went and got some chow katsu chicken curry, which is absolutely banging. If you've, uh, This isn't a paid sponsor, by the way. If you've never had the katsu chicken curry for chow at Weatherby, sort that out, because honestly, it's amazing. Mm. Anyways, we're currently loaded with a curtain cider that we're taking up to Glasgow uh, to drop off. Then we're turning and burning, reloading back down to Stuart and going to Southampton with two brand new camper vans and then coming back up the road with two brand new Volvo FHs. So without further ado, let's get in to this week's video. All right, look at that. Here we are coming back into the Scottish border. We'll be at our offload in about 103 miles, uh, two hours, and then we'll uh, hopefully get reloaded tonight. And then drive another four, well, not, we'll not get the whole 400 miles, but we've got another 450 miles to go to Southampton. Ah, oh, look at that for that tidy wagon, eh? Big Maguire transport. Right, as I was finished the off road, thank you again, Maguire, for sorting that out. And uh, now we're heading on to sunny, sunny Newton Stewart to rinse and repeat the caravans. Sorry I didn't get any videos of me offloading. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush today. I want to get reloaded tonight, so. Camera's done, camera's done. But anyways, let's fire on and see what we get to. Oh, all right, that is us loaded and our last 15 busted of the week and our fucking, well, our first 10 of the week, which is quite good. I've been trying to save my 10s and just got up earlier. Seems to be working out a lot better. It just means I'm getting up earlier and not getting an extra hour in bed. But it is working out better in the long run. But anyways, we've loaded those campers. The guy stayed back and helped me load, um, obviously. 7 o'clock at night, which was a big help. Um, so I really appreciate that. And uh, I wake up again 5 in the morning, because if you imagine it took us an hour and a half to load, which is 8 o'clock, um, well, half 8. So 9 hours from that is... Yep, five in the, oh, half 5 in the morning, we'll start again. All right, 5 a.m., we're starting our journey. We've got 446 miles to go, 9 and a half hours. Uh, to be fair, though, probably be more towards the nine hours. I think get a nice clear run. So far today, we've done 1,200 miles. So I, by the end of the week, we should have done about two and a half thousand miles this week, which is uh, aye. Right, so the past two times that I've done this run, this is where I've stopped to get a wee video, you know, ah, oh, that's us loaded, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna lie, I, I love YouTube and that. I'm not getting out in that, that is, I've seen a lot of horror films. <laughs> I'm staying well inside my cab this morning, thank you, but we'll just pretend like I've done it. Oh yeah, right, we're loaded. Let's head to Southampton. All right, we're three hours in. The rain has started, but the sun is up, and we're slowly getting there. Uh, what have we got now? 283 miles. So far, we've done three hours and 18 minutes, and we've got about five, just over five hours left. All right, just stopped in at Lim Services here for a wee bit of the old diesel. We grabbed 300 litres, which will be enough to do the remaining five hours we have of driving today. I don't want to fill her up too much. Um, 500 litres, 300 litres, because this takes 500 litres. Anyways, I'll show you the load in just a minute. We're just going to pull forward, get a 45 minute break, and then do the last four and a half hours. Oh, what a terrible 45 minute break we've had. That is me just got a Greg's. We've got 10 minutes left of our 45. That's how long it took me to get a Greg's. But it was the fact that I really love Greg's that meant that I obviously was getting a Greg's in. Oh, hi, the M6 tool. <laughs> Second time this week, eh? I don't normally hit the tool twice, but uh, aye, aye, good. All right, so I don't know if you remember, but last time we were here, in fact, last two times, We've came a horrible, horrible route, uh, low hanging branches, a very narrow country road. Uh, and that is because the sat nav is trying to avoid a seven and a half ton limit across this road. So last night I did a bit of research to try and work out what the best route was. And this is what I came up with. This is the route we come back out. Uh, Cause it's almost like a, we almost do like a circle. But as you can see, it says uh, seven and a half ton except for loading. However, we're offloading, so it's fine. 
by, this is a road that we physically uh, come out of once we've offloaded but it takes you in and you do kind of a loop of Burley or Burley or whatever you want to call it and then you come back out this road so now we're coming in and out of this road, it's so much easier because as you can see, lovely and open, no hanging branches It's quite a, a tight wee village this, but look at that, I love the old thatched buildings and that but hey, we're getting I didn't think you were letting me go there mate, I thought you were going It's quite a nice wee village, yeah? It's quite nice and tight, I mean, this is the third time I've been here and the only time I've showed it, but just because it's nice and narrow uh, it needs a wee bit of care to kind of go through, especially with the step frame These junctions are a nightmare Obviously I'm having to pre-check it now because now I've lost my view and relying solely on mirrors It's a bit of a, a, bit of a bugger that wee turning But anyways, aye, two miles up that, well two miles, two minutes up this way Get offloaded and I'll finally show you the load as well, eh? <sighs> Somebody's parked in my lay by. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Between Newton Stewart all the way to Southampton, purely, which is a wee bit under Southampton, 8 hours 45 is not bad. Alright, so that's us made it. There we go. <laughs> what a wee journey that was. 8 hours and 45 minutes, that is not bad time in Newton Stewart to Southampton. 470 miles. Bye. She's here. Look at that for a wee gap. And we maintained it. As you can see, they're not touching at all. I can get my finger in between there. No touching, no rubbing. Then onto the back, I had to drop the ramps down a wee touch to make some room for the front. Lovely stuff. There we go. Ho oh, ho, this thing is nice. Right, first off at the front here, the usual van, steering wheel, all that jazz. Up here, I don't know if this is a single bed. The last ones we delivered, this was a single. This might just be like a shelf area. Still quite cool. Obviously a bed up here that comes down and um, which I think is pretty awesome that's obviously a double bed you can see the length it runs it runs all the way to here so that will come down and sit basically there which is quite nice it does kill the space obviously you know you can't easily go back to front but it's what it is obviously your hob and all that your uh, oven lovely stuff that's your hob sorry that's your sink a uh, wee fridge in here lovely doesn't smell too nice and then you've got like a wee wee cupboard down here with your controls and then coming into here you've got a shower now this, these ones are different so the first ones we moved was just like a, a horseshoe seating area the second ones we moved this was like that and it was just a this whole thing was a double bed now that these ones have moved there's a almost like a queen bed in the middle and then your shower the only thing is i've got a funny feeling that would probably wet that if you're in the shower, it doesn't really, there's not much distance, that's just going to get really wet But uh, aye, lovely, obviously your table here, your TV stand, but somebody's bumped a telly And then of course the toilet in here, that's quite nice, lovely, loads of storage but I know this isn't a camper van uh, series, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, let's get these off But there's a lovely amount of room in here, plenty of room for activities like camping. Yeah, head out the gutter, man. Jesus. Right, no banks on this time, so we've just got to make sure that we're nice and clear. That's why I'll put this wood here just to give us that wee inch, and hopefully I'll get a camera angle and show you just how low it is. Let's try a different angle this time. Let's try that. Quite daunting when you're coming down here though, isn't it? Aye, good. Right, let's hope she starts. This is the trickier one to go off because she's up the neck, but I'll show you that in a minute. If you haven't watched the previous <laughs> two episodes of me moving these at different times. There's a wee bit daunting when it's like this. We're just going to chop this up and get that extra couple of inches. And this is what I mean here, it's a bit janky, but it does the trick. Obviously we've supported it as much as we can. Same on that side, that one's a bit shorter though, but still got the same angle as this bit here. And it gives us just that wee extra inch. And I'll try and see if I can get a good camera angle of it so you can see the wheel travelling along, hopefully. Oh, 
I just watched that video back. That was beautiful. Right now we just need one of it coming off and then uh, that's us done. We might just have enough battery for this. Kinda, it's just started raining. I just watched the video preview back there and it's a bit of crunching, right? But it's actually the gravel, I promise you, look at that. Clean. I'll just rub it. I mean, it's clean. No scratching there, no redness. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought I'd damaged it. Yeah, uh, boys, well, we're parked. Had to go 10 minutes over our nine, uh, Unfortunately, uh, luckily we've no tens left, so that shouldn't affect us. But uh, aye, I'll have to do a wee print out. Just couldn't find a safe place to park. Uh, but luckily, we had a good bit to park. Literally 30, 40 minutes off of just where we offloaded. You can't see the distance there, but that white building just over the on trees. Pub. We're at, oh, we're eating well tonight, boys. We're eating well tonight. Uh, just gonna quickly go and do a wee bit of editing, uh, fresh myself up, go get some food, and aye, good. All right, seven o'clock. I've edited my YouTube videos. We're just heading to the White Rabbit, which is the longest road for a wee bit of food. Um, and mostly just to get out the cab. I've been in that cab all week. So it'd, uh, it'd be good to get out of it. There's just a wee path up here, thankfully. A wee five minute walk. It'd be rude not to. Aye, steak pie, three or four pints. That was expensive. It was six pounds a pint. I didn't realise until the end, but uh, that's what you get for not asking. And uh, start a tab, or not a tab, but you know, oh fuck, there's a tree. <laughs> Shut <Shut myself. laughs> Oh no. <laughs> but I, uh, obviously, because I was in table service for dinner, I ordered my dinner and just kept ordering beers and uh, never once asked how much the Peronis were. Oh, six pounds a pint. Aye, yeah, good. Aye, yeah, good. But anyways, just going back to a lot of the... I don't know if you can see it in the distance with the flashing light. Get a wee bit of sleep. Back up at four in the morning. Um, it is currently 8.45 an hour, so the alcohol should well have worn off. But there you go, maybe you can see her now. And then the pub, all the way down. Further than those signs, you can't even see it. Anyways, see you in the morning. Oh! Fucking stars, bells ringing. That's cool. I like exploring, it's cool. But anyways, here's back to the Hotel La Volvo. Season them on the... All right, it's 4 a.m. next morning. <sighs> Let's get it. All right, boys, it's a wee bit lighter since we last spoke, but here we are, pulling into the load site. Big Volvo. <laughs> The best place for this lorry to be, yeah? The best. Oh, it's a barrier. I hate that. That is near a good angle. I don't know what it is. Look at all the Volvos here, man. Jesus Christ. All right, trailer's all set up, ready to go. It's just these two we're picking up here. Whoa. The two twins, W and T. Just quickly have a look about them, make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. And then, eh, uh, I. We'll fire on, we'll fire on. Everything looks okay so far. Oh, sip. look how high that is off the ground. That's truck a Sean spec, that. So far, not so good. First one is dead as a donut. We'll try the other one and get the booster out. All right, we've got one started so far. The other one uh, isn't quite starting. My booster pack is pretty much dead now. Uh, it has had a wee bit of a hard week. Um, mostly due to the fact I didn't charge at the weekend. So it's had a hard two weeks. That's my fault. Right boys, I'm not gonna lie, it is about 45 minutes later. We had a hell of a time. Something's wrong with my winch. I'm not too sure what it was. But I was winching it up the last bit because she was slipping. 
and it just fucking locked on dragged her too far and we got her stuck but we did a wee bit of reverse winching here obviously using the anchor point here and winched her back from there as you can see and that way we've got her back getting her forward and that way we've kind of solved that problem i'm just adjusting it slightly i need her down the neck uh, further anyways uh, just for a wee bit of height oh man i thought i'd fuck it all right a lot of messing about we're sitting at 16.7 before which is higher than the bridges took some air out dropped her lower down and took the wind kit down here there's no gap whereas in that one there's a wee gap and that's us 16.3 let's send her off there's big hoties lorry man absolute machine <laughs> All oh, right, we just stopped in for a wee bit of the old diesel and unfortunately me dad blew. I was trying to make it last until the yard but I've got torque reduction imminent so if I don't do it now then I'm down to 25 miles an hour so if I had to bite the bullet and put half a tank in Anyways, here is the load, the big DFDS trucks and uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, so we've got a midi up the front here and then we've got another mid lift there as well obviously we had battery problems with them but we've had to bring her down at the neck a little bit because when she was too far up the neck Obviously, the height was getting a bit, uh, was getting higher, obviously. But, anyways, as you can see here, we've gotten up on blocks, and some of you might be saying, but if you take it off that block, then it'll be lower. But the reason it's up that block is because it didn't, if it didn't have that block, you can see if I can just get my finger under the Adblue tank there, that would have been touching. Same with the diesel tank on the other side. And then, obviously, the ramps pushed into the middle, and that brought the height down, but still had to bring it up a wee touch just to make room for that. We let the air out of the uh, mid lift as well, just to give us a couple inches, because that's massive. Oh, that's quite a bit to play with. That's not bad. It's the first time I've been up here and actually been able to touch the gantry at a fuel station though. That's pretty fucking weird. Oh, we did well. Well on Revolvo, Southweight Services, four hours, 31. It's not bad. It's a minute over, I'll, I'll do a print now. Anyways, 45 minute break, let's get it. Alright, we've made it to DFDS, as you can probably tell. So, we've got two to come off, we're going to get them off now, there's quite a few po folk in the yard. I haven't done that thing where I don't record now because I'm nervous, but I'll get there. Alright, so there's two of them, we're going to quickly start this one, booster pack is on, hopefully she will start. Because um, I, I don't think they've got a booster pack yet. Oh, moment of truth. Come on, darling. Friday, here we want to. Not to start. Not a good start. Wrong keys. Right, she's done. I charged it in the lorry, but it charges very slow off that inverter, and it just obviously wasn't enough. <sighs> I ain't good. All right, luckily the customer had some cro crocodile clips, so we made do. Yeah, let's get them off now to concentrate, because this bit is the hard bit. It's a bit daunting, reversing the track to the back, and that's your ledge. There they are, all delivered, and they're going to replace the old DR McLeod livery. It's a sad old day. Aye. That old livery there. <laughs> it's weird, I picked generators up for here at Christmas when I was doing traction. Slept over there. That was obviously the, the fridge place where we took our fridge for Aberdeen and I went the wrong way around it. It's just funny seeing it now I'm here with my pride and joy delivering some fresh DFDS Volvos. Don't forget the parking brake, Sean. Aye, good. Right. Last 15 of the day. Let's bust it. Alright. Here we are back at yard. Three minutes spare driving time. She's worked hard this week. We've done just shy of 340... 3,465 kilometres. Which I'm pretty sure is about 2,000... 2, 3... 2, either 2,200 miles or 2,300 if I'm right. Probably wrong. But that is not bad for a week, eh? not bad for a week. 
uh, we've done fucking, honestly, we are four hours away for 90 over two weeks, and this week we're doing about 48 hours driving. Whew. Aye, good. Alright, that is us back home. Thank God for that. What a week that was, that. <laughs> that was one of my longest weeks in a long time. Whew. Aye, good. Aye, good. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.